I'm going to demonstrate how to create some little decorations for the border uh, using Affinity Designer. So I also did these. Um, so I'm going to show how to do stuff like that. So I'm going to switch over to Affinity Designer. I'm going to start a new um, designer file. And so for this one, I'm going to make sort of a spear-like design. So I'm going to start with um, view, and I'm going to turn on the grid. And then I'm going to start with uh, the shape tool. And let's see, so right now it's set to the spiral. So I'm going to use the diamond tool for this one just make a diamond shape. I'm going to make it to look sort of like a spear, so I want it kind of pointy. I'm going to change this to um, 10. And... Okay. So there's my basic shape. Now I'm going to add some more stuff to this. So let's see, I think I'll do a circle. And I'm just going to, if I hold the shift key down, it'll make it more circular. Or I could, uh, since I have the grid here, start in one corner of the grid and end in another. And then just position it so that it'll take out some of the that, like that. So I'll do that one. Now I think I'd rather see the um, outline on these, so I'm going to do a... Uh, turn on an outline for these. Okay. All right, then I'm going to do, um, I think I will add sort of a curved part up here. So I'm going to get the crescent tool. Let's see what that looks like. That looks pretty good. And then um, move that over and rotate it a little bit. Like that, and maybe another circle. And I'm just doing these sort of a little bit at random. If I scroll with, uh, if I zoom in a little bit here, you can see that the grid will continue to increase um, and become a higher resolution. So it's sort of handy. I'm going to take this out right about there. Okay. And, uh, well, let's, I'll just start, start with that. So now I'm going to select all of these. I'm going to use the, uh, oops, I'm going to do one other thing. I'm going to use the Shape Builder tool. Now first I'm going to add a line that goes down all the way across this, like that. Okay, now I could use, um, there's a bunch of tools. You, I could use these Add and Subtract, but I've been using the Shape Builder quite a bit lately, so I'm just going to use that one. That one's easier for me right now. And then I'm going to select all the things that I want to be in my shape. So I want this to be in it, I want this to be in it, I want this to be in it. Um, I don't want anything in that circle in there, and I want that to be in it. And I've selected everything, I'm going to hit Enter. And then I'm going to grab this, I'm going to click off of it, and then click on the shape I want. And pull this off and so there's my basic shape this stuff I don't need I'm just going to delete that okay um, so uh, that doesn't look too bad I'm going to um, double click on this I'm going to tweak it a little bit uh, I think I'll make this a little pointier and I'm going to make these just a little bit Offset, and I'm definitely going to make these. So I'll do a smooth first, and then you hold the Alt key down so I can rotate this to make that a little pointier. And then I'm going to hold the Shift key down with this one so that it's aligned uh, with this edge so it's square up there. And then I think I'm going to make this one come down around that. And 
hold the Alt key down again to, to make that into a point. And I think I'll bring this one in a little bit. Smooth that out. And then I think I'll make this one a little pointier too. Maybe I'll have this come out a ways. Smooth or er, smooth that and then hold the alt key down to make it pointy again. Let me move this one back a little bit. Smooth that. Okay, like that. So that is my basic shape. Um, that doesn't look too bad. I can make this more complicated, but um, that's not too bad like that. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to copy and paste it. And then I'm going to flip horizontal. And then I'm going to drag this until it's lined up with that. And then I'm going to select both of these. And I'm going to use the Add tool to merge it into one shape. Now it's not quite as pointy as I liked it so, as I wanted it, so I'm going to um, modify this a little bit to try to stretch it out a little bit. Alright, well that's not too bad. I'm going to go with that shape. Um, looks pretty good. Now I'm going to um, modify this one, but I'm going, I'm going to change it so it's just sort of a thick outline of these. So I'm going to use this contour tool and, oops, um, before I do that, I'm going to make a copy of this and paste it on top of itself. Then I can, I'm going to use the contour tool um, to make this a little bit smaller. I'm going to, I'm going to take this edge here that's going to be my final shape. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And so now I'm going to highlight the whole thing and I'm going to make a new shape that's just this part. So I hit uh, select that using the shape builder tool and then hit enter. Now I have that shape and I'm going to click off of here and then click on the shape and pull it away. So you can see I have my old shape here. I'm going to just delete that one. All right. So there's um, there's my basic shape. Now uh, the other thing, let's see, so I'm going to uh, rotate this around. Oops, hold the shift key down so I can rotate it. So it's exactly uh, sideways. And then I'm going to copy and paste this one and flip it horizontally and then I'm going to pull this over to the side until I think it looks pretty good. I don't want too much overlap. But I do want some. Okay, I think that's about right. So I'm going to make sort of a Celtic knot thing going on down here and so I'm going to highlight both of these and zoom in and um, use my shape builder tool again. And I'm just going to follow along here. I'm going to go over and under, over and under. So this one's going to go over and this one's going to go under. This one's over, this one's under, this one's over, this one's under. Now let's see, is that going to come out right? Yeah, it looks like it is. This one's under, this one's over. This one's under, this one's over, this one's under. Okay, so I've got that shape. I'm going to hit enter. Now I'm going to do the other shape. Highlight the whole thing again. Go to shape builder. And now this time I'm doing um, this one. So this goes under, and then it goes over, under over, under, over, under, over, under, over, and then hit enter on that one. 
Now, these should have, uh, yeah, so that looks pretty good. Um, now I'm just going to go over to the, I'm going to turn off the um, line for these and I'm going to change the color. Um, I'm going to use this gold, sort of gold color and then I'm going to go over to add an effect. Um, let's see, I think I'll group these at this point and then I'm going to add an effect to this one. Oops. I think I'll do these individually. So I'm going to add an effect of a 3D effect like that. And then I'll also add a 3D effect for this one like that. Okay. And then up here on the group, I'm going to add an effect and I will make an outline and I'm going to make it black and I'll make it, bring it up until I can see that pretty well, like that. Okay, so there's my little decoration I made. Um, now I'm going to, uh, to get this over into Affinity Publisher, I'm going to use these assets. So you ha I have this asset window here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new category. I'll call this one um, Borders, I guess. Okay, so I've got that. And then I'm just going to, um, let's see, I'm going to do change the stroke scale with object. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller and make sure I don't um, alright and then bring it over into the assets. So now I have this asset over here. I can delete this. I don't even, I don't even need to save this one. This, um, all of the other affinity programs will know about these assets. So now if I go over to Affinity Publisher, um, and let's say I wanted to use that asset, um, I'm going to put it on my master page. I'm going to double click Master B, and I'll maybe put it down there. So now I, um, to use that asset, I go over to the Designer Persona, and there I have that border asset ready to go. I drag it in over here, and then I can uh, position that down there. So now I've got this um, little decoration uh, in my publisher document. Like that. Now I could, um, you know, have change the transparency on this. Maybe I don't want it quite so bright, but for now I'll just leave it like that. Okay, let me know if you have any comments or questions.